Hello guys, welcome to CP Toys. Uh, this is the Buzz Lightyear Blast and Battle XL15. This is a Buzz Lightyear jet. I'm going to try to customize it and make it a, a slaughter marauder for the classify figures. Um, there's a few YouTubers that are already done uh this jet uh iron king 3000 uh, it was the first one that i saw customizing this uh, for classifies i recently saw gun bunny custom did uh tiger force version of it it was great you should check those uh check those channels check those people their their work is pretty amazing so, but I'm gonna try to do a Slaughter Marauder. I haven't seen a Slaughter Marauder one. Let's see how it goes. So here it is out of the box. Uh, let's see. Take this off. And it opens. Let's close it up. You gotta sort of play with this thing here. So it could close on mine because I've seen other they just close it and it closed. I don't know why mine is acting up, but you press this back and that thing's supposed to open, and then you're supposed to just press it the back down and it's supposed to close. I guess it's, it's a masochist, it likes it hard. And it has this thing here that you pull and everything, and then. I like to keep these things. This is what held the plane in place inside the box. It's kind of cool. I like to keep these things to do like dioramas and stuff. Let's see. It looks like a a turn from from Hoth from Star Wars. One of those turns. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Hey. Okay, so in order for you to fit classify figures on this thing, you had to remove most of the components here inside the cop the cockpit. Take this part out. Um this arm thingy take it out take everything out it's and you want to leave this piece so you could drama most of the parts out um, I think Iron Kim has uh, a video where he shows exactly where to cut he said to cut this piece right here to cut here Right here. Let's see. So right here. And on the other side, the same thing. Cut it there. So that piece could come out. All of these could come out. And then you you want to have just that out and maybe like sand this a little sand this blue piece right here sand it a little so it could be more you know classify figures about two and a half inches wide and let's see this thing inside The inside of this is uh, about two and a half inches from here to there. So most likely all of this had to come out. But let's let's see. Because uh, you know, if I sand this off or dremel it out, it's gonna look ugly. 
it looks nice the way it is like that so i'm gonna see if i could save this and see if it, the classified figure will fit without having to remove this like sand it off this piece but let's see also uh i saw um a, another video of, of from john g man 2 on youtube where he put he breaks it all, all all apart but to break it all apart you had to take this rivets out and that thing is a pain to get those rivets out it's not easy you can remove all the screws and all that but those rivets uh, that's a, a mission you have to heat it up and then push it out uh, Nah, not gonna do that. But this, the carpet is on a peg, so you could actually see, pull it out. It's not that hard. And you could just poke it back in. Makes it easier, so you don't have to mask this when you're painting. You just go, go wild and paint. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, so to remove this arm, you could use the Dremel and cut it there, or you could use this thing, little cable cutter, which is what I'm gonna use, and just start cutting it. So this will make it easier. So there it is. Uh, took the swing off to make it easy to pull this this piece out of there like this. So to be able to like turn it a little this way, I have to take this thing off. You gotta be careful with this thing because if you push it too hard down this this will go under the frame here and it'll be a pain in the caca drawer to put it back up it happened uh, i'm saying it because it happened to me this thing went all the way in and then it was stuck and i had to like maneuver so it could come out of there like wiggle it and it wasn't easy so I was thinking about keeping the blue because that that looks like the Slaughter Marauders blue, but the Slaughter Marauders vehicles, they don't have the blue, it's just the figures. Uh, Slaughter Marauder vehicles have the dark green, light green, and brown, a, a camouflage thing. So the blue gotta go. Quack, quack. So here it is all together. Now all I have to do is uh, sort of take the inside and this part. Cause I, I don't want it blue, but I'm thinking of uh, chrome silver here and the turbine. Uh, I don't know. I'm undecided whether I should put them black and this black or just paint the silver and the silver like chrome. I don't know. Let's see. All right. So we're going to spray paint. Yes, I'm here Is now. Is that the color we're going to use? 
I'm going to paint the whole thing with this one. I didn't care about masking anything because I'm going to paint this thing and the inside black. So it doesn't matter if I spray everything this color. I wanted to spray the whole thing this color and then this one on top of that one because I'm trying to get this one maybe uh, a tone a little darker hopefully yeah and I couldn't find like a wine brownish color so I'm gonna go with this one because I, I couldn't find any any other one so we got satin gloss and semi gloss this is that's the name of the color satin aberjean jean jean whichever this is gloss spring green. Spring green. And this and is hunter green. green. Semi-gloss, of course. Gotcha. All right. Shake it up for good luck. Now let's go crazy. Yeah, crazy. We just should have primed it first, but whatever. Look at that green. That green is beautiful. You should have wear a mask. Yeah, true. But it still smells good to me. No, you shouldn't say that. All right, just let it dry. And then we, we coat it on the other side, on the bottom side. So we had to use the lid to make a stand. So it's basically a rocket ship with wings. It's so crazy. This is the bottom, who cares? Yeah. It's not like someone's gonna tip, tip it over just to see the bottom. And it's just for me. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm gonna sell it. Then I'll mask it so I could put the the light green and then mask it a different way so I could put the brownish paint, purple thingy. Yeah. Whatever. And hopefully it doesn't rain. Alright, so it's already painted green and I'm gonna mask it now so I could give it the light green. And the idea is to cut with the scissors like wavy cut the tape and like give them some waves so when I put it here it's not like straight so it will be like wave so Let's yeah see how it goes. here we go you ready to put the light green paint yeah to go over and if we don't like it like we said we'll just Paint it hunter green again. Let's see how it goes. Ooh, that's like a turquoise to me. Huh? Grass green. Like on the camera, it looks like it's turquoise. But but like if you look at it, like actually, it's it looks uh, green. That's weird. So this is how it's looking so far. I gotta now use the like the brownish purple thingy paint. Can't remember the name of the paint. But okay, so I was trying to put the aubergine, aubergine color. But like two uh, purple 
not as brownish. So, and so happened that it broke. So, I'm just going to uh, use a brush to paint it. I'm going to spray paint it and I'm going to mix that paint with a little bit of brown. Make it a little bit dark. Not this brown. This is what? Um, warm, ca warm caramel. This is more for light. The... Okay, so this is what I have so far. I'm debating on painting that black and the engine right here. Black, black, black. The turbines are black. The turbine haven't done anything to it. But this is what I have so far. I don't know. Okay, so here it is. All done. Uh... I was thinking of painting the turbines and the exhaust silver and then it didn't look great then I tried black no I tried uh, copper like uh, uh, golden brown nah mm. so I think it looks better like that Yeah, you maggots! <laughs> and... and this guy. I did this guy. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment if you can. Be safe, be blessed. Take care.